Well, you were right. The camshafts are all out of stock. <laughs> Hey, good morning. This is Jeremy calling about the uh, 4.9 Ford I've got there and wondering if I could talk to John. Okay, thanks. Hey, morning, John. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. Well, you were right. The camshafts are all out of stock. Um, and then the push rods, I would reuse those and that kind of thing. And yeah, I can check them for straightness. Now, when you said you said you did a valve job on the head, right? Um, does that mean like you... you put new like seats in or anything like that or okay and my springs are all okay um okay wonderful wonderful and then um how big did you end up going over on the the bore of the engine 20 over okay nice sounds good perfect thank you so much okay If you've been enjoying this engine build series, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below as well as the like button. It helps me continue to make great content and shows your support for my videos. When I went into this engine rebuild, I had no idea how hard it was to get parts in 2022. However, my engine builder said that he couldn't find the RV grind camshaft that I was looking for. So I had a look and as you can see on Summit Racing, none of the camshafts for my engine are in stock. So this meant that we had to go with a stock grind cam that he found, which is okay because changing a cam in a couple years isn't that big of a deal if I really want to. And this engine isn't a race engine, so perhaps the camshaft doesn't matter quite as much as I initially thought. So I just got the call from my engine rebuilder that the engine is done, the parts have arrived, so it's time to go pick it up. Let's go. I was really pleased with the work that the shop did and very surprised to find out that it had already been painted, which is awesome because I wasn't really looking forward to doing that. So they provided me with most of the parts. I got to order a few more things and then we're going to get this thing back together. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the reassembly videos coming soon.